So into us from Banggood is the Visuo XS809S, but this model is known as the Battle Sharks. <laughs> Now, we love the original XS809, absolutely brilliant. And they were really modeling it on looking like the DJI Mavic, although we all know it's nothing like the Mavic. But it's a great training drone because it's got altitude hold and it flew brilliantly. We compared it in a recent review against the Eoshin E58 as well, and that review has been incredibly popular because lots of you are looking to improve your basic LOS flying skills. LOS means line of sight. And before you end up crashing your thousand pound Mavic, it's brilliant to learn how to fly in ATI mode, A-T-T-I mode, by using a drone like this. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this. So as mentioned, this is from Banggood. There are two different models available. There's a 0.3 megapixel camera and also a 2 megapixel camera. And we have the 2 megapixel version here. Now, basically, in terms of design, etc., there's not a lot different about this. It is pretty much just like the original XS809, which again, I have to say, what a great quad that was for training. Um, the, however, the big, big difference about this one is the battery. The old one had just a 900 milliamp 1S battery. This has an 1800 milliamp battery. So just to clarify exactly what that means, this is twice the capacity of the old one, and that means you're gonna get essentially twice the flight time. Now do bear in mind that this drone, the revised version, does weigh a tiny bit more, but we're only talking about two grams. That's hardly any additional weight. Now, just whilst we're talking about this battery, a mistake that most of you will probably make is not to remove this. So first thing you need to do is unpeel this little safety sticker, uh, they have to do this when they're shipping lithium polymer so that the contacts aren't exposed. And when you remove that, it exposes the contact. Now only then will you be able to slot it into the bottom of the drone, like that. And now if we turn it on, you can see we've got the same old lights as usual. And you can see that the LEDs on the arms are flashing to say, connect me to the transmitter. So besides that, all the same features are there from the original Visuo. We've got the little micro SD card, which is great. It means we're gonna get much better quality footage rather than the footage that streams to your mobile phone. It'll be stored on the SD card, so that's great. We've got our little two megapixel camera on the front here, and that is tiltable. There's also a lovely little lens on there which doesn't have a massive FOV so hopefully the image will be good again like the old Visuo as well and of course the only other big difference about this is the massive cheesy shark grin on the front of it <laughs> maybe that'll make it fly faster uh, other than that you also get the transmitter as you did before and what I love about this one is that you flap up that there and then this becomes your mobile phone holder so that's a really nice feature there so underneath this we get some spares as well now in here we've got prop guards we've got spare props but the other key thing is we've got two more batteries so with this model here we've actually got an hour of flight time in theory because you're going to get 20 minutes per flight there are different battery options available i chose the one that has three batteries included and the prices do vary depending on which package you choose so have a look at the website links now in the video description and choose whichever one suits you. But like the old Visuo, this model is still cheap, so that's great as well. So there we have it, that's what's in the box. This was one of my favorite brushed drones of last year for training. Let's see if the Battle Sharks version is any better with the flight test. Beautiful evening in the UK, sun's just about to set and it's a perfect time to test the Visuo Battle Sharks drone. Now, the previous version of this, the XS809, was one of my favorite brushed training drones. Really just because it was really responsive, it had altitude hold, great for practicing how to fly ATI mode if you've got a DJI drone. And um, so I'm just really hoping that this Battle Sharks version is gonna be even better. Remember that these batteries, you get three of them in the main package, give you 20 minutes of flight time, which isn't bad at all. So first battery in the back, I'm gonna angle the camera slightly down. Remember this camera does pitch slightly up a little bit as well, that would make for some interesting shots. I'm gonna pitch this one down a little bit like that. This is the 720p camera version, remember. Now what I'm gonna do, turn the transmitter on, Press the button. I've got my folded up bit there already. Um, I'm going to turn the drone on as well. 
and you see the lights flashing on the bottom. So I've got an SD card inserted in here as well so that that's gonna capture our footage. Now throttle to full and then to naught and that calibrates the, or binds the transmitter with the drone. So the drone will now be letting off a Wi-Fi signal. So, so on my phone, I can now turn on Wi-Fi mode and you can see we've got the Wi-Fi um, signal for it there called Wi-Fi 720. So I'll press that to connect to it. There's no password. It just connects. And then after that, we can fire up the app. The app is called XSWUFO, and I'll put a link to that in the video description, um, but it's a very generic named app. And it's the same app that we've seen on all the Eosheen, JJRC drones, etc. There's our live feed. Now it is a bit juddery. It's not actually uh, very smooth, that live feed, but let's hope the recorded video is smoother and I will put that on the screen during this flight test. So I'm gonna clip my phone into this lovely holder. Now, one thing to note about this controller is that there's no video record or photo button actually on it. So you have to do the video recording and the photos from the phone, from the app. As you can see, I just took a photo. Um, but that's not a big issue, but it does mean that you can't record anything unless you fly with the phone, basically. Um, but personally, I'm not a fan of the cameras on these cheap drones. They're never great quality. Really, the purpose of drones like the Vizuo Battle Sharks is fun and just wanging it around the sky without a care in the world about whether you smash it up <laughs> because it doesn't cost a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars. So just a brief instruction to the transmitter. We've got takeoff and land here. You press it to take off, press it to land. Emergency stop, that will just cut the props and it will basically fall to the floor. Then we've got our two pointless functions that we're not even gonna to touch, uh, basically headless mode and return to home, but it's got no positioning system. Um, it just relies on compass and gyro. So those features really are pointless. Don't bother using them. We've then got shoulder buttons. One is for speed and sensitivity. That one we'll play with. And the other one is for flip and acrobatics. And we'll definitely be playing with that one. Finally, you've got the control buttons here for trimming it. So when you take off, if it drifts to the left or the right, forwards or backwards, we use these trimmers to adjust that. So anyway, without further ado, let's take off. So press the take off button. <laughs> and up it goes. Now you can see immediately it's actually drifting away. So what I'm gonna do is now use the trimmer buttons uh, until it hovers perfectly on the spot. A uh, little bit, a little bit more. And that is almost perfect, I would say. Let's get it a bit higher. There we go. So there is a bit of a breeze coming in, but it's an intermittent breeze. So it's going to be hard to trim it completely. Um, but that's not bad at all. I'm now hands off the controls and that's holding its position pretty well, I would say. And it looks lovely in the air. Now, remember, we've got 20 minutes of flight time with this, apparently. Um, but look at that. It's such a good looking drone in the air, the Vizio range. Uh, it's very responsive on the transmitter here. We've got the good analog sticks here. And as you can see, we've got altitude holds. So if I push the drone down, it comes right back up to where it was. Same if I lift it up, it will come back down to where it is. Now, one thing I always like to do is test the fail safe. And that basically means to see what happens if the drone is to lose connection with the transmitter. So what I'm gonna do is turn the transmitter off, but I will hold on to the drone just in case it does try and fly away. So transmitter off. And within a few seconds, the props have stopped. So that is a really good sign. Just means that if your drone flies off, loses control from the transmitter, it's not gonna fly away and give us all a bad reputation. So I'll rebind it now and then up we go. So that's all good. Now what I'm gonna do as well is start recording. Uh, just looking at the live feed as well. So yeah, it is obviously a little bit latent because it's Wi-Fi. The props are a tiny bit in view. I've got the camera pointed up. But in general, um, yeah, that's not actually too bad. So let's have a little bit of a fly around. I'm just gonna trim it a bit more actually. Yeah, there we go. So this is the default sensitivity and it's very, very subdued. I mean, that's very, very slow. <laughs> Now obviously you can see where it comes to the grass bank here. The grass bank is raised, but the drone doesn't know about that. So the altitude hold keeps it at the same altitude that it's at at this point. But as per the original Visuo drone, it flies so reliably. It's just very, very smooth, controlled and calm. 
Let's up the sensitivity another level. Now you can see we've got more speed. That's much more fun for me to fly. <laughs> and again, we've got one more level. <laughs> now we've got some good speed. And look at it go. Those lights on the legs are very visible as well. Really nice. <laughs> and it's just very um, predictable. Very, very predictable. Flies really, really well. Now there's only three sensitivities, but I would say for most beginners, that's gonna be more than enough. You're not gonna need a lot more than that. That goes really nice. Let's do a fast pass. Here we go, ready? <laughs> so range on this, because we've got an actual transmitter, range is probably gonna be good for about, I would imagine about 100 meters if, if the old Visio is anything to go by, which is pretty good actually. Uh, this isn't a drone that you'd be flying kilometers away, obviously. So that's more than enough. So let's turn it around, stop recording, and let's take a photo of us. Actually, what I'll do, because we're into the sun, fly it over here, take it there. We should get some better lighting that way. Here we go, photo. <laughs> let's take another one. So that's an interesting observation. The height on this drone is limited. Now we've seen this on a few other drones before, but that's as high up as it will go, which is, I think, a massive shame actually, um, because it would be nice to get this up a little bit higher to have some more fun with, the, with flying it. Um, now, of course, one way to get around that would be to take off from a different point. So if I land over there, press the land button, and it goes automatically. So, okay, so we've landed up here. If I now take off, because we've taken off from higher ground, should be able to go back down this hill. <laughs> it's a bit of cheating this. And now I should be able to fly much higher up. There you go, much higher. So we are still limited, but at least we've got it a little bit higher. That limit is a real shame. Um, one of the great things about the original Visuo was that you could fly it and have a hell of a lot of fun flying. Now you can still do that with this, but that height limit's gonna frustrate people like me who can actually fly. Uh, let's get the video recording anyway, again. And let's just do some slower flights, see what the video quality's like. So hopefully you can see that on the screen now. Let's try a slow pan. Hopefully that's looking nice up there. It's a very calm drone to fly this. I mean, it's very, very easy to fly. Very easy to fly. And that, of course, is gonna be good for those of you that are looking to buy one of these for training. The video quality, as I say, you don't buy this for video, you buy this for fun. Now, let's try the flip. So this will be interesting. So press the flip button and then press the direction, I guess. and it doesn't want to do it. So I'm guessing based on that, that it hasn't got a flip. It might just be a generic transmitter then. That's a shame, I was looking forward to us doing some stunts, <laughs> but I guess we won't. So two big sad elements about this really is the lack of stunt mode and that altitude restriction, which is a real shame. But besides that, flies really nice as expected. And it is a lot of fun. You know, it's pretty quick as well. And 20 minutes flight is pretty unbeatable. You can't complain about that, especially if you buy this bundle that has three batteries. So yeah, I'm not gonna fly this for a full 20 minutes because you'll be incredibly bored. But in general, the Visuo Battle Sharks version is very nice. Main advantage is the bigger battery and those big grinning teeth on the front. <laughs> Downside is the altitude limit. I'm sure someone will find a way around that, maybe to disable the barometer, but of course that would also remove altitude hold. Um, but it's also incredibly cheap. Links to it in the video description if you want to take a look, but for what you get, it is very, very cheap. Video quality is not too bad, not great, but overall this is a fun drone, and if that's what you're looking for, then this could be a good purchase. Certainly this or the E58. Have a look at both of them because they're both very capable drones. 
Anyway, leave a comment in the video with your thoughts. Give the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you're not already a subscriber, click subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.